Hey everyone, welcome to Whitecode. Where in this video, we're going to learn about the Chrome extension Action API. So we're going to go over how to configure it inside a manifest.json file, and also how to work with it programmatically. So the Chrome Action API allows us to customize the behavior of an extension's icon in the toolbar. So as an example, what we're going to be working with, we have this little icon up here, and we can use the Chrome extension Action API to change what the icon is displayed up here for a Chrome extension. We can change the pop-up that appears when you click it, so for example, when I click this, we can change what appears. We can disable the extension icon on certain web pages. And we can do all that kind of stuff with the Chrome Action API. So to use the Chrome Action API, we need to specify the action key in a manifest.json file. So this action key right here. The action key takes an object where each key is optional. And one of these optional keys is what you can use to set the icon. And it's called default icon. So right here, is you probably can't see it, but I have a small Docker Compose icon up here. So this is this the Chrome extension icon for this project is this little one right here, which equates to this image. And the way I make that happen is by using this default icon key. And this default icon key determines what icon is shown on the Chrome toolbar for the extension. Specifically, it takes an object where each key is a size in device independent pixels or DIP, and each value is the image to display. So here, we're saying that for 16, 24, and 32 DIPs, set the extension image to this image right here, or this thing right here. Out in production, we would of course want to use different sized images for each of these DIPs, but for just a demonstration, this is fine. Another thing we can do with this default, or with our action configuration, is we can specify something called default title. So I could say download with Scepter, which is my Chrome extension, if you wanna go check it out. And what this does is it makes it so hovering over the icon will display this. So it's essentially a tooltip. So if I reload our extension here and now hover over this, you probably can't see it because it's really small, but it will. we had a little tooltip saying download with Scepter. And now finally, let's talk about creating a pop-up. And a pop-up is what is displayed when the extension icon is clicked. So we can do all sorts of things. So for example, what I have right here, um, let me show as a demonstration my Chrome extension right here. When you click it, we get like a whole web page that opens up. So that's what we can do with the Action API as well. So let's make a simple little pop-up for ours, which is going to be this HTML file right here. And to make this happen, all we have to do is specify default pop-up and then provide the source, which for us is, in this example, is called index.html. Now we just need to reload this. And if we click on this icon, now we can see this little HTML file being displayed up here. Note that the pop-up is sized automatically to fit its content, which is why it's only this size, but the pop-up cannot be smaller than 25 by 25 pixels or larger than 800 by 600 pixels, unless you make it full screen like you did in, or like I did with my Chrome extension. But this has all been working with the Chrome Action API uh, statically. Let's talk about working with it pro programmatically. And we can do that by using a service worker. And so a Chrome extension service worker is an extension's central event handler. They respond to events such as closing a tab, network calls, navigating to a new page, all sorts of things. So I use uh, Chrome extension service workers extensively in my application. They make all the API calls, all that stuff. And to use a service worker, we use the background and service worker keys inside manifest.json. So just like this. And now inside, let's create this location. So I'm gonna call it background and inside here, just call it index.js. And now we can access, let me remove this comma right here. We can access the Chrome Action API in our service worker by using chrome.action. Specifically, what we're gonna do is let's alter our icon so that we have both some badge text with the number one and a color of red. So if we reload this now, not sure if you can see, but right at the very top of the screen, you can see the Chrome extension has a red badge icon with the number one inside. What we have here is simply a callback function. So if we look inside our Chrome extension service worker right here, and we go to the console, we can see this stuff logged here, which is of course coming from our service worker. But we can do a lot more with Chrome extension service workers. I'm gonna make a video on that, but it also, we can work with the Chrome action API inside a service worker. But there are a lot more things we can do with the Chrome action API um, I'm not, not going to go all of, over all of them in this video. You can just look them up yourself. But essentially, 
I'll just list out a few of them here. So let me refresh this, open up our service worker, and these are all the functions and stuff we can do. So we can see we have an on clicked for the action, so we can react to clicking on the icon. We can get the background color, get the text, pop up, title, or all sorts of stuff. But so this is my video on the Chrome Action API. If you liked it, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called With Scepter. Link is in the description. Just give me a thumbs up, good review. But besides that, thank you for your liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.